वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला इंडियन कल्चर इंडियन एस्थेटिक्स एंड फाइन आर्ट्स इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी विल डिस्कस द म्यूजिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स ऑफ हिंदुस्तानी म्यूजिक ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस मॉड्यूल इज टू नो द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ क्लासिकल म्यूजिक इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स यूज इन नॉर्थ इंडिया एंड देयर क्लासिफिकेशन टू अंडरस्टैंड द स्ट्रक्चर कंस्ट्रक्शन ट्यूनिंग एंड प्लेइंग मैथड्स ऑफ नॉर्थ इंडियन म्यूजिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ म्यूजिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स In ancient texts on music and dance musical instruments were classified into four major categories namely tatvadyas avnatvadyas sushirvadyas and ghanvadyas in the present day the musical instruments are classified in four major types according to western systems that is stringed instruments wind instruments percussion instruments which include membraphones and idiophones and the fourth category is electronic instruments musical instruments are also classified into instruments used for solo performance that is sitar sarod etc and the instruments used for accompaniment that is tanpura and tabla the commonly used north indian classical musical instruments are rudraveena sitar sarod santur sarangi tanpura bansuri shehnai tabla and pakhavaj first of all we will discuss the rudraveena the name rudraveena first appeared in the sangeet makarand of narad all ragas can easily be played upon it the construction of rudraveena is the veena consists of a fingerboard and two broad gouts of about 14 inch 22 wooden frets are fixed on the fingerboard the veena has seven strings in all four main playing strings and three drone strings the veena is played with two plectrums worn in the index and middle fingers of the right hand while the side drone strings are flicked with the help of the small fingers nailed the drone strings of left side is flicked with the left hand's little finger nail Sitar Sitar is the most popular string instrument of northern India 
Allied instruments are Surbahar and Sraj. The sitar can be divided into two parts, the fingerboard called dand and the resonator. The dand and the resonator are joined very carefully. There are seven main playing strings and 11 to 13 sympathetic strings. The sitar has 19 to 20 frets tied with silk or nylon thread. To strike the strings, a metal plectrum called mizrab is worn on the right hand index finger. Sarod. The Sarod is one of the leading instruments of Hindustani music today. Allied instrument is Sur Singar. The body of the Sarod is made of a single block of wood. The instrument is divided into three parts, the peg box, the fingerboard and the resonator called Piala, which is enclosed with the parched skin. Santur. The Santur is an instrument recently adapted in Hindustani classical music only about 45 years ago. Santur is trapezoidal in shape and played with two wooden sticks. The instrument is yet to be standardized.
sarangi. Sarangi is a bowed instrument used in folk and tribal music of North India. It is the only instrument which comes in closest proximity to the human voice and therefore it is always very popular amongst the singers as an accompanying instrument in Hindustani classical music. The body of the instrument can be divided into three parts, the belly, the fingerboard, the peg box or head. The shape of the sarangi is slightly vested from one side. There are three main playing strings and 39 to 41 metal sympathetic strings. The sound is produced by the contact of string and the root of left hand fingernails instead of the fingertips as usually done in almost all the bowing instruments. Tanpura. Tanpura is used for providing the basic note to the singer and instrument player in Hindustani classical music. This is used in both North and South Indian music. Tanpura can be divided into two parts, fingerboard and other is its sound box. Upon the sound box, a wooden sound plate is placed on which a flat bridge rests. Four metal strings tied on one side of the sound box in a string holder pass from this bridge and go straight to the other corner of the fingerboard where they again pass through an upper string holder and finally tied to their respective pegs. Tanpura is plucked with bare fingers. Tabla. Tabla is the most popular percussion instrument of North Indian classical music. It is most commonly used to accompany vocal and instrumental music and dance. Its primary function is to maintain the metric cycle in which the compositions are set. Tabla consists of a right hand drum, 
the daya and the left hand drum the baya there are 16 holes to which braces are tied at equal distance giving the instrument an equal tension at all the points beneath each pair of leather bracing a tuning wooden block called gatta is placed by pressing these blocks upwards or downwards by a hammer the instrument can be tuned to a desired pitch pakhavaj the pakhavaj is the only percussion instrument to accompany the dhrupad style of singing the art of pakhavaj playing was highly nurtured in temples the instrument is barrel shaped with an asymmetrical convexity towards the left it has two faces which are held by braids and connected by leather straps there are eight tuning wooden blocks which are used for tuning the instrument Basuri or flute is a simple bamboo tube of uniform bore. The fingers have to be in direct contact 
with the finger holes to produce all the delicacies and intricacies of the various ragas. By controlling the breath, different sound modulations are achieved. Shehnai. Shehnai is a double reeded wind instrument. It is also played on the occasion of a wedding or any other social ceremony. It can be divided into three parts, the reeds, the tube, main body or resonator and the metallic bell. Shehnai has seven finger holes while playing the instrument. The player keeps the reed wet from his or her saliva. Apart from the techniques of breath, different movement of tongue, lips and fingers can also control the sound production of Shehnai.
western instruments many western instruments have been adopted in hindustani classical music like violin harmonium guitar clarinet and saxophone there are some electronic instruments also which are a part and parcel of hindustani music now electronic instruments evolved in the 20th century the power of micro computer on a chip ic integrated circuit have paved the way for a phenomenal progress in the field of musical instruments in recent times the advantage of these electronic gadgets are that they are small easily transported operated on batteries and ac mains range of pitch exceeds 1 octave capable of withstanding occasional knocks free from the effect of temperature and humidity some examples of electronic gadgets are sarang that is electronic tanpura and tal mala that is electronic tabla in this module we have learnt about the musical instruments used in hindustani music four categories of musical instruments that is chordophonic string instruments membranophonic percussion instruments idiophonics and the aerophonics that is wind instruments we have also learnt about the string instruments rudraveena sitar sarod santur sarangi and tanpura we have learnt about the wind instruments bansuri and shehnai we have also learnt about the membranophonic instruments that is avnad vad tabla and pakhavaj we have listened to the demonstrations of these musical instruments as well thank you